emboldened by a new belief in forgiveness and peace. I assemble all the ages I have ever been into a grown woman and take my father a pot of yellow roses. He asks me to come closer. The oxygen machine curtsies in the corner, brushes the hem of her exhale against the fake wood floor of the trailer where he sits, trembling, arms outstretched, bulky diaper apparent under his gardening pants. Beside him sits a walker with a trowel in it. The man loves the babies he pushes into the soil. He again asks me to come closer. My mother explains he's got about six good inches of eyesight. I change the subject, then later beg my lover to not leave me alone when my time comes. Upon first glance, what's evident is his decay. The large forehead we share is his collapsing. His bottom lip is blue and strangely wet. I can't tell if I'm more repulsed by him or me because of my disgust. This is a human before me. How dare I indulge in disgust? Not to mention the very one whose blood code I share. I sit on a cheap sofa covered in a scritchy bedspread. Something smells sweet and dusty. The hiss and click of the air conditioner marks time so slowly I want to run right through one of the aluminum walls. What do you talk about with your father who you haven't seen in 20 years? What do you say to your mother who feeds your rapist at regular intervals? To be honest, I don't remember. Something about the device he uses to read? When I turned 18, he handed me a book of Shakespeare, said, your father wants you to know the best and be the best. I spend most of the visit holding the outside of my thighs. His familiarity is startling. In some eerie way, it's like we never left off or just having a normal family visit while my mother peddles pie. What is that I keep smelling? Air freshener? Rot? In retrospect, it may have been my guilt. Because what's all over my shoes when I look at them is the realization that the person who remains unforgiven is not him, but me. How could I have left them alone for so long while I've been out living an exciting life? What kind of daughter am I? Deeper, what kind of person who leaves lonely and troubled people to themselves? They would saw out their kidneys to save me. This is what they don't tell you about incest. You can try to get away, but what will finally eat you alive is love. Beautiful, lethal, unconditional. Ironically, it may be the very thing that saves the planet. When my time comes, my mother is lost in the kitchen, lover stuck in the bathroom. So again, I stand alone to push within six inches of the lips that make me want to eat my own face to get away. If there's anything new I've learned about peace, it's this. Forgiveness is not a single act. It's something you give up and give up and give up.